Welcome back to Fintech Insider at Money 2020. I'm joined by Martin from Finastra. Martin, how are you, sir? Uh, absolutely great. It's a pleasure to be here. Have you had a good show? Absolutely. Uh, it's day two. Yep. Very busy here at Money 2020. Oh, and uh, the most exciting thing this morning, we had a big launch, uh, a key milestone for Finastra. So really excited. Before we get into that, actually, remind me who Finastra are for those who live under a rock. Sure, sure. Uh, we are a kind of in a toddler stage. We just celebrated the first uh, anniversary of Finastra as a brand because we came together as two companies, DNH and Mises, and we shaped that company just a year ago. Yes. Uh, as of today, we are more than 10,000 people worldwide serving 9,000 banks around the globe from the largest tier one banks down to the community and credit unions in the US. So a very broad spectrum. Also from a product perspective, we are serving almost everything what a bank needs uh, in terms of retail, corporate banking, treasury, capital markets. Uh, you get almost everything. Um, so tell me about this launch. Well, um, what we have done is now we took all the software that we have and put it onto more or less the, the uh, public internet. Uh, in, a, in an API approach. So we have opened up all our software and we created a platform that we call FusionFabric.Cloud. And that FusionFabric.Cloud allows all the fintechs, especially here at Money2020, to access that software uh, and to build new applications on top of that software so, stack. A bit like how Salesforce does uh, Force.com. You're, you're absolutely right. So what Force.com is for Salesforce, yeah. we want to be for the financial community. Interesting. So if I'm a client of Finastra, I want to collaborate with a fintech, they could go to your, what was it? Fusionfabric.cloud. Fusionfabric.cloud. Yes. What, what would I get there? Would it look like Stripe.com? Would, would it be a developer that can get into this thing and um, start doing stuff? So the first thing that you would experience is you have a full de development environment. So you can start to build application based on REST APIs. You see all the REST APIs that are existing on, our, on top of our software, and you can start to code. Now you can use your own coding language, or you can use a full visual development environment cool. where you kind of connect just the functional um, modules and you create the code behind. But when I'm coding, I'm coding to like your platform, not the instance at the client, right? So I'm coding to like a version of your software. Exactly. Which means that that software could then be deployed to a client, but you still have to deploy it at that bank. Correct. Uh, the core software wouldn't be deployed probably to the client. It's more the app that you create that will finally de be deployed to the client. Right. Because the client might have Finastra infrastructure already, so you don't need to transport this to the client. Mm -hmm. It's more the application on top that you create yes. that will be ported to the client. But, so I've got the app on the top. Yep. I've got the vanilla version of the Finastra software on Fabric. FusionFabric.cloud. FusionFabric.cloud. <laughs> I get connect those two, I see that they work. And now the client has their own instance of this software over here, and then this just moves here. Exactly. And I've already tested it, Ex and I know it works. Exactly. And it can work with many. But you need a deployment mechanism, and uh, we have a, a second module which is called Fusion Operate that deploys that application that you have to create it into the cloud wherever the client wants to have that, either really in the cloud or it co could go even on premise. So it's a kind of container technology that you can run everywhere. We have a, a fintech, for example, like Compend. Um, Compend is a company that works uh, together with IBM Watson technology to screen documents and get out of very unstructured documents, structured data. And that data is then converted in and ingested in, for example, lo loan contracts or trade finance contracts. So IBM Watson technology enabled through APIs plus our product plus the fintech product is creating a value add for the bank. Now the bank can go into a store, this is the third component, Fusion Store, and can look at all the apps that are existing and saying, hey, this kind of uh, artificial intelligent contract ingestion, I want that because I'm a trade finance bank, uh, download it and use it immediately. And so is this going live? Can I use it now? Absolutely, it went live this morning. So fusionfabric.cloud, if you go to this website, you see all the components, Fusion Creator, Fusion Operator, and the Fusion Store. Thank you for being on It was a pleasure, thank, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you.